Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And the day has come where summons is now smart summons. And it's so smart that it's supposed to actually work. You guys have seen a number of videos that I've done where I've tested out summons in the past and it's been a disaster. It has not worked. It almost ran into a handicap sign one time. It almost ran into a car another time. And so it has not at all been dependable. And this update that just came through, it's supposed to fix that. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, welcome back. So first things first, they actually call it actual smart summons. A-S-S. -S. Yes, Tesla actually called it that and it's going with it, which is pretty cool. And if you've known Tesla to done, have done dumb things like that where they come up with these acronyms and, you know, they mean different things. But um, so actual smart summons is what summons used to be where you just go on your app and pick a place and set a target and the car is supposed to come to you. And now there's a second summons, which is called dumb summons which basically moves a car back and forth like it used to be able to do like coming out of a tight spot parking into a garage space you want to back out the car or whatever it would just basically move back and forth so we're going to go ahead and test it out see how well it works i'm going to try to give you my point of view and i'm actually going to do this a bit differently because i used to stand outside and call the car to me but i'm going to stay in the car um and see how well it works from inside the car while i call it to go to a different location all right so here is the point of view that we'll try using this time I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my phone here and uh, go into the Tesla app. And um, as you can see here, it's going to give us the option for summons. And once you click on summons, it's gonna tell you where you are currently. It's gonna give you the nice camera angles now. So if you're actually outside the car and, and doing this, you can actually see what's around you using the outside cameras. And um, all you do is you do the same way. You basically move the target over to where you want the car to go and i'm in my same amazon fresh parking lot and i'm gonna go ahead and call it to uh where it is so amazon fresh this is like the front of the parking lot so i'm gonna call it there and i'm gonna click on go to target so let's see what it does so it's gonna back out as you can see this is actually doing it all by itself mm -hmm. I'm not touching anything, I'm holding the camera on hand and I'm using the phone as to show you guys what's happening. It's interesting that it's got the inside lights on for some reason, uh, the interior dome lights. But it looks like this might be successful in this first try. Came to a stop sign, good. I wonder what it's going to do with the stop sign I'm coming up right here now. Did it read it? Uh, it didn't quite read that, but it did come to the target and we're here, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drive off now because there's another car behind me. So that was a quick one, but that did okay, except it didn't stop at the stop sign once it turned. Alright, so let me go ahead and move into another spot, perhaps further away, and uh, see if we can call it to that location. As you can see, the weather is actually kind of weird. It's cloudy, a little drizzly, um, but overall not too bad. So let's go into a more crowded space with more cars around. Let's go over here. I'll park next to this Camry. All right. So now, as you can see, it's updated on the phone where the target is and we're still within the circle so let's try going 
I don't know. I guess we can pick the same spot. It'll probably take me out. Let's see what route it gives us. The stop sign is basically right here, but I'm gonna go further so it has to go past that. Yeah, well, let's go to target. So it does turn its blinkers on. Good job pulling out. Making its way. So far so good. Uses a turn signal. Okay, as you can see there's a car coming right here. Let's stop for that. Good. And it's hesitating a little bit, but it made its way through. It did not have to stop at that stop sign, which is good. And that was a success. Let's turn this turn signal on, basically saying that it's stopping here. Not turning anywhere, but the blinkers are on, so if somebody behind us is waiting, they know it's parked and yeah that was a success so let's go ahead and go to a different spot now because this is almost too easy so let me pick out a different parking lot with maybe more pedestrians or more traffic and uh, let's test it there all right so I am in one of probably the busiest parking lots in America well actually in any Costco I should say um, they just opened a little while ago and there's already a lot of traffic here a lot of pedestrians walking around so we're gonna go ahead and do this test here. I actually just got done shopping from here as well. And so let's go ahead and summon the car to the front of the Costco parking lot, uh, or uh, Costco store, I should say, which is, I guess I'm right outside the circle, but let me see if it'll actually pull up to there or not. I'm gonna call it to, yeah, so if I bring it outside the circle, as you can see, it just kind of pulls it back. So let me do this. Let me park closer to the store. Uh, since I'm parked all the way over here, maybe I'll just move it here. That way the circle will actually come uh, to the entrance to the store. So let me go ahead and do that. As you can see, it is drizzly, it is raining. I'm not sure if it'll impact that in some shape or form, but we shall see how well this works. Let's go over here and try to find a parking spot closer. Um, I don't know if this will work, but we can try. Let's see what this space is. Be in the circle. We are in the circle, so let me go ahead and put this in park. I'm gonna have this call to the front of the store. This is a bit risky because again, it gets really busy there, but we're gonna try it and see if it works. So as you can see, there's already a car behind us. Let's see how this thing does. Again, it is raining, as you can see, the windshield has some rain on it. <clears throat> I will say just pulling out of the parking spots and going down the aisles, here it is much quicker than what it used to be before. It seems like it's more confident and it's able to move faster. Got some pedestrians on the left there. This is where it's going to become a bit tricky. Let's see how it does. So 
Let's see what it actually turned to the right, as you can see, and it is pulling up to the spot on the right side. So that was a success. That was impressive, the way it maneuvered there in the end. Very cool. Let's do, uh, I guess, one last test. And uh, so far, it's been spot on. So let me go ahead and try it this way. I'm going to park on the other side and have it still come to how it came right now towards the entrance. So let's see how that works. I'm curious to see if it's going to go all the way around or something, or is it going to try to make a U-turn or something? I'm not sure, but let's see how it works. I don't want to go too far because again, we got to stay within that circle. So I might have to come around and uh, find a spot here. Let's see. I thought I saw a spot from the other side here. I did. Yes, it's there. So let's pull in here. Park there. And now let's bring this up, go to summon. We're not at all far from the entrance, but what I want to see is if I call it to the entrance here, is it going to go around or is it trying to, is it going to go ahead and pull straight in? So let's see. You can see pedestrians behind us. It does know that it's not moving, waiting for pedestrians, it says. And again, this view in the app, once you're actually standing out there, you can see what's behind your car and what's going on through this camera view, which is awesome. Front K band. It says reducing speeds due to poor conditions on the phone app where I'm selecting it. So here's what I want to see. I want to see what it does here. Because it does kind of have to make like a U-turn, I think. I don't know how it's going to turn around. Or is it going to just stop? Yeah, pretty much just going to stop here. So I'm going to go ahead and move since there's a car behind me. It did not make a U-turn, but it did make it to the destination close enough. So out of the four tests, I would say this was a huge success and a huge improvement from before. And um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.